Okay, we were 1986 we got together. I hated his guts. He walked in, I hated his guts. He thought I was a scumbag. I thought he was a poser. And yet, I heard a tape. I don't know what kind of music it was. It was some kind of weird thing. Terrible singer, terrible band, except I heard notes on the guitar that I said, wait a minute. test each other and we actually love each other at the same time and no matter what when we get down to writing music together it works and it's really strange because otherwise I'd kill him and he'd kill me Studio, we would make ourselves not listen to anything so that we, we hardly ever went out we saw never bands. saw bands. we didn't know what was hot and happening we didn't want to know because we didn't want it to influence us we wanted it to be purely from what was already stored in our whirlpool as if it was already written. And I go to Michael, who had the technical ability <laughs> to make that magic reality. And I say to him, here's what I'm feeling. And, and this is the visual I see. And this is what I'm hearing. And we work from there. We're very strong in the producing part of it. We, we tend to be very, very much sticklers for what, we, what our vision is. And, and we, we don't get turned around. Sound is really what we know best. That's how we made our record sound the way it sounds. You know, that's what makes it unique is the, the, the tonal thing about it. And that's nothing that nobody, I don't think, could ever come in and imply on us, that's for sure, at least me as a guitar player. Live, I do not go by rules. I'm not even thinking. I don't even know where I'm at half the time because I go back into my past of when I wrote the words. I think certain people in the audience go to shows to feel something more than what they're told is acceptable. They, they want to go and feel something that is beyond our minds consciously. They want to connect with things. And I get those people in the front. And I know them because they're crazy. I can see it in their eyes. And that's what's so wonderful about playing. I mean, sometimes we play to 30 people, but 20 of those people will be in the front, withering on the ground, screaming out the words, as if they'd written them. And maybe they did, I don't know. We that's talked about Pink Floyd, and that was like, started it all. You know, we both had like common ground. 
just thinking about what we wanted to do musically, you know, sound that we were looking for. All that's the Zep, Floyd, you know, I also got into like the progressive stuff. I was like into Emerson, Lake and Palmer. Yeah, um, yes. Uh, just a lot of stuff from the 70s because of my older brothers and sisters, you know, that was their era. And, you know, I mean, God, even the Doobie Brothers and Fleetwood Mac, you know. It's all the stuff I grew up on. And, and still, if I, if I were to put on records of choice, personal choice, those mm -hmm. are the kind of records I'd put on. Like Bob, 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 Frank Marino. Thank you. 